Hey guys, welcome back to another video of All Things Nerd. Uh, my name is Caleb. It's going to be talking about the new video that came out from Game Informer for the Resident Evil 4 remake. Uh, this is the exclusive coverage trailer. Uh, super exciting stuff. I know Nathan had dropped a video, I believe it was either earlier today or yesterday, kind of just talking about the different additions that they had available for this game. Uh, but I was excited to see that they had shown some new gameplay uh, today from Capcom. So I'm going to be watching this and here we go. In 2005, Resident Evil 4 changed the face of survival horror. Oh, this game looks so beautiful. Action and horror, combined with its revolutionary over-the-shoulder gameplay, cemented it as a bona fide classic. It's so crazy to see just the difference of graphics compared to the last time I played this game on. God, I think it was the GameCube. Play Chapter One and Five of Resident Evil Four, and speak to its principal designers, including directors Yasuhiro Ampo. The animation is gonna be so good. I, I'm sure they're gonna have a bunch of new stuff in this game uh, compared to the original game. You know, it's gonna be a reimagining re of uh, Resident Evil Four, but this is gonna be super exciting just to see all the new things they're gonna include in this game. Sharing new details on the opening section, breakdowns of Ashley's gameplay, and other tweaks. Plus impressions of the church, cemetery, just the reflections. <laughs> Playing this game, if there's like an RTX feature, which I'm sure they're gonna have that, that's gonna be super exciting to see. Well, that was ab about it. <laughs> I actually thought there was gonna be a lot more they were gonna show for the gameplay here. Uh, I didn't realize it was gonna be about a, just a minute of gameplay, uh, but that's gonna be super exciting stuff. I I'm excited for this game. I'm definitely gonna get it when it does come out. Um, I'll have to watch our own video, <laughs> see what different additions they have uh, available for this game. Um, probably definitely going to get it on PC here, but God, this, this the game looks gorgeous. The shadows, just the, the lighting. It feels like there's definitely a lot more depth to this game and not even not comparing it to the old game and saying, oh, there's no depth to it. It wasn't exciting. It wasn't a great game. That game scared the crap out of me. Uh, the first horror game, which this is a horror series, um, but this game scared the crap out of me as a kid. Uh, I just remember first coming into the village, the dude comes in with the chainsaw with the uh, potato sack mask on, just full charging you. <laughs> I think I just froze in place, shot my head off. But uh, yeah, this game, memories playing this game scared the crap out of me. I, I think it was one of the, it was definitely, it was one of the few um resident evil games i had played i haven't played through all of them uh, i played through five uh that was i think the first one i one of the first games i played on the ps3 when that first came out uh, i played through uh, most most of six i think i have finished resident evil six um but this this game's gonna be really good it's i like the idea of it a reimagine reimagining excuse me um i like the idea of a reimagining just because um kind of I'm assuming it's going to be maybe not exactly like a retelling, um, excuse me if I get it wrong, but pretty much my interpretation of just like in a reimagining is it's going to be the same thing, probably the same story. They'll have some different elements in there, maybe change some scenes, uh, kind of how things play out. Things might be a little bit differently, The but the overall experience will be the same. And it's kind of the, the vibe I've been getting from watching the Last of Us HBO show, as I kind of like how they put this little twist on it that's a little bit different but it's essentially something as somebody who had played it before the game before uh whether, whether this is resident evil or the last of us is for somebody who had experienced it prior and to get to re-experience that it's not the same regurgitated thing you get something else new out of it and as like the as a gamer or somebody who had experienced it before you can appreciate it a little bit more you get a little more uh get a little bit more back as opposed to just kind of revisiting it uh with in this case, uh, as a video game, um, you get to experience that not only in updated graphics, you know, that are, um, you know, state of the art, something that is current, uh, but you get to experience this with just newer features, um, maybe different animations, just the whole atmosphere <laughs> surrounding the game. I'm, I keep staring at this gameplay and it's just, it, it blows my mind just to see how different it is. You know, like even, even the hair, I was, I <laughs> have to talk about it for a minute. Uh, I know it's super random. But I was talking about this with my friend a while ago, and there's there's not very many games I've played where they do hair right in video games. And it's something for me, 
randomly that just takes me out of the experience sometimes and just kind of seeing this just every little detail like just even down to the hair it looks so good <laughs> that's kind of all i could say about that but it'll be exciting um i actually don't know when this is releasing i'll should probably be a better friend and watch my friend's video <laughs> talking about this game uh but I'll, I'll do a little bit of research there uh look up see when this comes out i'm, I'm excited for it it's gonna be good um um uh, buddy he's been dropping just any little info that he sees about this game he'll just kind of forward it my way but um definitely if you guys are um excited about the new scream uh movie that's coming out scream 6 i've been catching up on all the Scream movies that, that were out before. I just finished three, was actually just about to watch Scream 4 today. Uh, watched five. I know, horrible. Skipped all of them, watched five. But uh, my buddy Nathan, he was actually gonna be running um, a raffle, a giveaway for two free tickets to go see Scream 6 in theaters, uh, just any theater of you guys' choice. He'll be uploading a video about that uh, here sometime soon. So definitely we'll keep you guys posted about it. Um, but I'm excited for that. It's going to be awesome. If you have any questions, you know, about when that's going to be happening, I'm sure he'll drop that sometime soon, uh, but he'll kind of share all the rules and what needs to be done to opt into that giveaway for the Scream 6 tickets. Uh, but definitely, if you guys love Scream, check out our other videos that we have done on Scream. Those ones have been kind of skyrocketing lately uh with lots of comments lots of subscriptions i really appreciate you guys watching these videos checking us out uh but we will see you guys here in the future uh if this does i'm assuming probably comes out soon so <laughs> but this game has been coming out soon i'm sure we'll come out with more content um, about the game more information if not uh i'm sure we'll come out uh with gameplay when this comes out because i know nathan huge resident evil fan um i've been enjoying the games but i know him he's a huge fan of resident evil so i'm sure he'll come out with some more gameplay about this game here so i will catch you guys later i know it was a short video uh but just kind of wanted to update not only myself but you guys if you guys have not seen the video appreciate you guys take care